Hello, welcome back to the woods and welcome to another short video. Now in bushcraft, quite often we can find ourselves in some quite remote locations. Indeed, even if we're working close to home, the places that we choose to go can quite often be a little bit tucked out of the way and perhaps they don't have direct vehicular access because you've walked in or Sometimes you don't even have a mobile phone signal. Also in bushcraft, quite often we find ourselves using stuff that can actually hurt us. Fires, for example, we can get burned to our hands. Knives, well, we all carry a knife and they should be razor sharp and it only takes a little slip and you can get a cut to your hand. And sometimes that can be quite nasty. There's other more specialist tools that we use too. Things like a, a crook knife, and I've seen one or two people scooping out a bowl on a spoon and it's, it's caught that pad on the inside of their thumb. And that can bleed quite nasty and can be quite a nasty injury. There's also, of course, the ax. Every good bushcrafter carries an ax. And a lot of us know how to use them, but it doesn't matter how well drilled you are in them, Sometimes, if you're tired or it's wet, etc., etc., you can have a little mishap. And the things with an axe, well, it's a nice cutting edge with the weight of a heavy hammer, usually in bushcraft on a shortish handle. And the injuries can be quite nasty. Indeed, a, a friend of mine once said years and years ago uh, that an axe does two things it either shortens toes or it lengthens them. Think about it, it's very, very true. And the injuries from an axe can be quite nasty. I've seen uh, an axe glance off the inside of someone's ankle bone, which uh, again was quite a nasty injury. Uh, I've seen them embedded in a shin uh, and I've seen it in through a boot as well. So all of these injuries can be very, very nasty. So potentially we could have quite a bad combination. An injury that's bleeding badly and a location that our usual emergency medical services might not be able to get to as quickly as they would in a normal domestic or workplace situation. Now for that reason we should all carry a personal first aid kit just in case things go wrong and in the description box down below I've put in a link to a video I did a couple of years ago on what's in my personal first aid kit. I also carry one of these. And this is a tourniquet. Now all a tourniquet is, is a loop of material that's wrapped around the limb above the injury and tightened until you get the bleeding under control. You don't want to fully stop the bleeding, but it does want to slow it down, at least for long enough until proper medical help arrives. Now, in my personal first aid kits video, uh, I said that I carry a cat tourniquet. Well, this isn't a cat tourniquet. This is a TACMED Solutions 
tactical tourniquet. I wasn't given it by TapMed Solutions, so this is not sponsored in any way. Instead, this one came to me via a friend who's a, an ex-UK Special Forces soldier. He, in turn, got it from a paramedic from the London Ambulance Service. Both of these guys, neither of them are strangers to traumatic injuries, both think these are excellent bits of kit, and I'm inclined to agree. The quality of the construction is excellent. It's really, really good. The materials that they use, nice solid aluminium bar, all the buckles are top spec. The nylon is nice and wide. The strap is very, very long. And that's quite important. I know a friend of mine working over in Afghanistan as a, a medic, he noticed with the issued tourniquets that they were getting at the time that he was working with some quite big Fijian guys. One of their standard ones wouldn't have gone round one of their thighs. So if you've got someone with an IED injury and their lower limb blown off, he would have had to have joined two of the standard tourniquets together. With this one, as I said, the strap is nice and long. It's got a little tab on there with time on there because you need to write the time that you apply the tourniquet on there. It's a well thought out, well put together product that obviously has been designed through user input because it's very, very easy to apply. With two hands, you literally unstrap, thread it through, put it above the injury, tighten, twist, lock in with the little tri-glide buckle on the top. The whole operation can even be done single-handed. So if you've got to apply it to yourself in a hurry, it can be done and it can be done easily. These items and other items from the company are in use by US military and law enforcement units all around the world. Indeed, I've even got a NATO stock number. Very, very good bits of kit, and I would suggest that you get one. Also, while you're at it, get yourself on a first aid course, because nowadays, some first aid courses cover how to use these. That was born out of experience in recent conflicts, Iraq, Afghanistan, where the use of tourniquets has saved hundreds, if not thousands of lives. They are a good bit of kit. Get yourself one, but also get yourself the training. TapMed make a whole range of different products, not just tourniquets. And some of those products are applicable to us in the bushcraft market. They do a burns kit, which, as I said, we work around fires and quite often we see burns. It might not be serious burns, it might be just a burn to the hand, but it's still something that needs treating and it needs some sort of first aid. So have a look at their little burns kit. There is also a personal medical kit, which includes uh, one of their tourniquets, as well as some other items that can be used to deal with traumatic injuries. Indeed, there is also a emergency bivy bag that looks quite interesting as well just in case you get caught out overnight i'll put a link to their website in the description box down below i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful please go and check out tap med solution stuff and please if you haven't got first aid training get out there and get some because the last thing we want is one of you guys to have an accident and it going all badly wrong. If you did enjoy the video, then obviously hit that like button. And as always, if you've not subscribed to the channel, do so. And remember to hit that notifications bell so that you know when I'm putting out new videos. And there is another one to follow in our winter bushcraft series, which should be coming up in the next couple of weeks. You can also check me out over on Etsy. Again, I'll put a little link in the description box below and over there you'll find all sorts of products including the green craft patch 
I'm hoping also to get some of the EDC light pouches uh, back up on the site as well in the next few weeks. You can also look at me on Instagram. I'm greencraft underscore zero one over there. And I tend to put up pictures on a fairly regular basis of what I'm up to. And I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.